Climate change hits ports first, but it's customers, exporters, retailers, and consumers who ultimately pay the price. That makes port resilience a question of global fairness. If the world depends on these gateways, shouldn't the world also help defend them? Even without climate change, ports are some of the most capital-intensive businesses in the world. Expanding a port means dredging deeper harbors to fit bigger ships. It means buying automated cranes that cost millions each. It means building container yards, upgrading roads and rail lines, and installing IT systems to manage it all. These projects run into billions, and the pressure is constant. Global supply chains keep demanding more, e-commerce surges, ship size increase, sustainability standards require ports to electrify fleets and provide green fuels. But the investment pace is uneven. Rotterdam, Singapore and Shanghai pour billions into expansion and automation. Meanwhile, ports like Port Noir struggle with congested and outdated facilities. That creates a two-speed world. A handful of world-class ports move forward while many others fall behind. And who suffers? It's the customers. Shippers face higher freight prices. Factories miss production targets because containers are delayed. Retailers lose whole seasons because goods arrive late. When ports can't keep pace, the investment gap becomes a competitive gap for entire economies and for every customer that depends on them. 